Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up email autoresponder from the cPanel. So let's get started. So the autoresponder feature is an email feature that allows you to configure and automatically send response message to an incoming email. Now, when you set up an email autoresponder, you can easily notify customer that you have gotten their email and send them a response without even being around. And it can save you a lot of time which is a great feature for when you're on holiday or away from office. So learning how to set up autoresponder is very, very beneficial for your business. So the first step to set up an email autoresponder is to log into your cPanel. Now you can log into your cPanel from your hosting account. And from the hosting account, we click on autoresponder. Now from here, we have the option to configure an email account to send automated email. And you can also see the notification here. Now from here, we have the first field which is set to character sets. By default, we leave this to the default settings. And the next option is the interval. So this is how long it takes for the autoresponder to wait to respond to the email. Now you can set it to zero if the reply is instant. So with my own case here, I'm going to set this to zero. So I'm going to set mine to zero. Now the next option is the email. So here I'm going to use a custom email address. And I'll set this to admin. Now this email address is a custom email address with also my custom domain name, which is set to demotutorial.yt. Now this is the email address I'll be using and also the domain name for the email address. Now you can select any domain name for your email address, but I'm just going to use my primary domain name. So the next field is the from field. Now in this field, you enter the name you want to appear in the auto response message. So from here, I'm going to use Hammond Web Team. So the next field is the subject field. Now from this field, you enter the subjects that you would like to show up in the autoresponder. So from here, I'm going to write on my own subject, thank you for reaching out to us, your message was received. Now you can click this option. You can tick this option on. If the autoresponse email contains HTML tag you want to show, now you can check the box. Or if you want the HTML tag to appear as plain text, you can leave the box unchecked. So here, I'm going to leave this box unchecked. So here, I'm just going to paste the particular message. Now from the start option, you can choose if you want the autoresponder to begin immediately or to set a custom start time. So you can click on custom start time, but I'm just going to leave mine to start immediately. And also you can choose to select a stop time for the autoresponder. But here I'm going to leave mine to never. Now when you're done, you click on create. So my email autoresponder has been created successfully. Now you can also see my custom email address. Like I said, to learn how to create a custom email address, Click on the link above and I'll go back. And so you can see here my custom email address, which is set to admin at emotora.yt and also the subject of my message. And from here, you can choose to edit this message later on and change all these settings. So about mine, I'm just going to leave mine as a default settings. So with this, guys, we successfully set up an email autoresponder from our cPanel. So the next thing I'll do here, I'm going to test this autoresponder to check if it's working. So I'll go to my email address. So for me, I'm going to compose a new email address. Then I'm going to put my custom email address, which is set to admin at demotutorial.yt. And I'm going to put a particular subject, inquiries. So from here, I'm going to send this message. So from my sent messages, I can see my message. How can I confirm my payments and also my subject message? And I'll go back to my inbox to check. Now from here, we can see a new email address and I'll click on this. Now you can see the name of the email address, which is coming from the from field option, which is set to Hammond Web Team by admin. You can see the email here. And also you can see the subject message, which is set to thank you for reaching out to us. Your message was received, which is what is set here. You can see it here. Thank you for reaching out to us. And also, you can also see the body of my autoresponder message, which is coming from the body here. And also, my email address, which is set to admin, which is coming from admin at demotutorial.writing. So, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope today's video has helped you out. If you have any question, feel free to leave it on the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with our latest video. Thank you, guys.